Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Art Bros. Brought to you by me, Mike, and with me as always is Fancy Dave. Always here. Fancy Dave. I'm, I'm kind of changed to the I'm kind of changed to the microphone at this point. You are. You are changed to this microphone, and but you know what? We need you here mm -hmm. to do all the stuff so that we can bring art to the people. Talk about it. Um, what we like to do every week or whenever yeah. we can. And today we're actually going to switch it up a mm -hmm. little bit. Dave, tell them what we're talking about, please. We're talking about a poster. We are a movie poster. A movie poster that terrify people. Mm -hmm. Well, it enticed people to say, "What the hell is going on?" With this movie, mm -hmm. I have to first off, Art Bros. Why are you guys talking about a movie poster? As what is art? this jazz? What is all this jazz? What is this? Well, what guys, is as we know, art comes in many forms, and we cannot deny that this poster had an effect on people. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why we decided to highlight it this week and talk about it. We're talking about the Jaws mm -hmm. movie poster, 1975. It comes in a lot of variations. A lot, just image search it, and people have made multiple versions of it and fan made over the years fan made but we're talking about the 1975 original poster version that's the shark and the swimmer and the logo and the logo so first thing i want to talk about is that this poster is clever mm -hmm. and when i say clever i mean that the set the viewer is looking at a female at eye level mm -hmm. that is sandwiched between two sets of jaws you have the jaws of the shark and text jaws. And the text jaws. Yep. So already, like some some subliminal stuff is going on over there. This poster here is reminiscent of Spielberg's styles. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you haven't seen Jaws, what you waiting for, man? Yep. <laughs> See it. You're gonna need a bigger boat, but hit that Amazon or yeah. <laughs> whatever you whatever you kids buy it on. But people, fans that are fans of uh, of Spielberg and his directing techniques will already realize that. The, one of the techniques featured in this poster is the eye level mm -hmm. technique. With we are character. immersed, we're in the water with this viewer. And if, if the shark was not there, it would probably look like we're at a distance watching this we're person. We're about to see a horror scene in a few seconds. Yeah, we are. And isn't that reminiscent of what the movie does? Mm -hmm. I feel like this scene is ripped out of the movie. You know, it's it's... This is actually exactly what, spoiler alert, this is what happens in the movie in the first uh, the first five minutes. Mm -hmm. Skinny dipping and everything. Yeah, skinny dipping and everything. You know, nice little <laughs> American blonde mm -hmm. swimming and whatnot. Just uh, having fun. Having fun, yeah. Because girls they just want to have fun and then they get eaten by sharks. And yet this horror lurks beneath. Yeah. So, of course, Fancy Dave, I need your opinion on this poster. We mm -hmm. can talk about the obvious stuff that the shark is obviously emphasized. Mm -hmm. You know, the it takes up half of the image, already emphasizing the importance of the shark in the movie. The black hole of a mouth. I guess to uh, point out the, the approaching danger even further, his head kind of looks like an arrow point, so mm -hmm. it looks like it's just about to impale her. And yeah, it does look like a pale her. Even the mouth is kind of curved upward, so it's pointing up in a way. Everything about this shark, even yeah. though it's not moving, says movement. Mm -hmm. It's coming towards her. It is. And that's a, we have to talk about what this poster was based on. Flash screen, bam. This is the poster is based on the book novel, which is extremely underwhelming. Mm -hmm. if, if, you're, if you're looking at it. It's very underwhelming. It, we don't even know what's going on here. When I first saw this cover, I thought that it was like a dream. Mm -hmm. There's a black void. There's a, a figure that does not look very reminiscent of anything I can relate to. Yeah, it doesn't look. It looks vaguely like a shark. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that. Look, he's like, meh. Mm -hmm. a shark. Meh. Meh. Like, what's, what's going on here? What's what's this? So, Suddenly it's an old man. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a little old man. And then, <laughs> like I said, this it, there's no threat. Uh, there's, like I said, it looks like a dream. There's not really this oceany feel. We go back to the poster. Obviously, we're in the water. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the viewer is submerged, and it's reminiscent of Shakespeare's landscape techniques. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's the first thing I notice is um, he lo he loves to have landscapes. Look at his movies. Uh, look at Amblin. One of the first things that he uh, that he directed was a western with beautiful mountain ranges in the back mm -hmm. except this we have beautiful oceanscapes yep you know, we have that there's obvious threat here it's scary as hell it is I'm scared of big fish I have a huge phobia and I'm looking thing at this thing 
Here it is with steak knives and <laughs> teeth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so uh, we talk about the reaction that the movie had. You know, we can't talk about Jaws without the... What's the word I'm looking for? Aftermath. The impact. The impact. You know, people, they went shark hunting. Yep. You know, they and, saw uh, sharks as an immediate threat. And that and uh, Shark Week. And Shark Week, exactly. The America's obsession with sharks started with this movie. And we have to credit the poster as well. Yep, and this is like one of the things that started the blockbuster movement in Hollywood. True that. True that. I mean, look at the posters that we have nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at posters that came before, they're very, some of them are very generic. You know, a lot of them are a lot of movie text. This one, on the other hand, is very minimal text. You know, well, depending on what version you're looking at. They're mm -hmm. just versions with no text in them at all. So we had a redefinition of movie posters with this movie. That's something that I did notice. We have, look at the uh, things for, like, the Avengers and stuff. Posters mm -hmm. for the Avengers, uh, we have just character posters. They're, they're Posing. Yeah, they're posing and stuff. And this is, this is where it starts. You know, this is where that, like you said, that summer blockbuster starts. The, we get the, the amazing poster and we get the amazing movie mm -hmm. that goes along with it. Uh, so yeah, I don't, honestly, this is terrifying. It submerges the viewer into this scene. You look like you're about to, you're watching something that you cannot stop. This is exactly, and you can't. Yeah, you can't, and that's what the movie makes you feel. Mm -hmm. You feel powerless when this shark is terrorizing everybody. There's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, the feelings that this poster evokes is the reason for me why I call it a piece of art. Mm -hmm. The impact that it had on the American populace, you know, the fright, the obsession that started. That's why I consider this art. Fancy Dave, tell us the people why it's art. Why is it art? Yes, please, tell them why it's art. Well, it gets its point across. It is a poster. Mm -hmm. It's telling you everything you need to know about the movie right here. Yeah. There's a threat, and people are, are you know, unsuspecting about what's lurking beneath here. It's very... I guess it's that idea of the abyss. It's down there. Yeah, really. And I, you know what's down there? More shark. Yep. <laughs> All you're seeing is its head. There's more shark. It got mighty, you. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and um, actually, there are other posters where the text is designed in a way so that the shark is continued. Mm -hmm. As in, if you look at some of these posters, if I guess. Oh, with the, the uh, blue border around with it. The blue, with the border around it, the actors' names are triangled mm -hmm. under the shark's head, and they're all the whole. See how the whole text. Emphasizing more movement. It emphasizes more movement. Going yeah, towards the woman. You're getting towards up, but it also builds the shark. Mm -hmm. It's the continuation theory right there. It builds a shark. You see how it has like the little fins and everything like that. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, he's got his arms stretched out. Uh, that's, see, that's what's happening. The shark's actually singing. Mm -hmm. It's a... It's a uh, Jaws. Jaws. <laughs> a terrifying motion picture. Now a terrifying musical. Yeah. The Jaws the musical. Dun, 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 dun. I am a shark. All right. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. Okay, guys. So, uh, like we said... This poster had an impact on the American populace. It had an impact it, on uh, movies, mm -hmm. what it did for movies, what it did for movie marketing. You know, that stuff. And much like this woman. Yeah. It, people didn't see it coming. <laughs> nice. We're going to end on that note. All right. <laughs> so, guys, like us if you haven't liked us already. Please subscribe to us, and we'll keep making these. Mm -hmm. um, send us what you like for us to talk about. We love those kind of things. Like us on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Yep. We are on YouTube. We are on anything else? Uh, that's it for now. That's it for now. But uh, we got some more more coming your way, and we're gonna be. Oh. Yeah, we'll put landing links down at the bottom of the description as yeah. always. So and, thanks for uh, listening. Yep. And we'll see you guys next time from Mike and Fancy Dave. This is the Art Bros. Uh, peace out. Mm -hmm. Till next time.